It's kit day here in my craft room, which means my kits arrived yesterday. No, I think they arrived the day before, but I was working until last night. Um, so I have my, uh, it's called Feel Again, the main kit, and I have the add-on. And I also have the This Life Noted kit for, whoops, for February. And I have the um, stamp sets for the Feel Again set and I also have the stamp set for the Mr. Big Stuff kit which I didn't get the Mr. Big Stuff kit but I'll show you the stamp set. So what I'm going to do is um, I'll do a separate video for the This Life Noted kit so I'm going to put that aside for now and I will show you these um, stamps and then I'll go ahead and open each of these. I'll do the main kit first and then the add-on. So before we get started with Feel Again I'll just show you the stamp set from the Mr. Big Stuff kit which is really cool it's got all kinds of really cool sports related stuff like game on all-star for the win number one the best rad it's got this like um, pinked circle that you could uh, put something in between these two lines it's got these chevrons with stars these aren't chevrons these sorry uh, somebody's texting me don't they know I'm making a video okay <laughs> Um, bullseye uh, for the win, all store, all, all boy, oh boy, a bunch of stars. So this is really versatile for all the stars, and I'm sure everybody's gonna love these flames, <laughs> which are totally cool. Um, so that is the stamp set for the Mr. Big Stuff kit, and then this is the stamp set that coordinates with this kit. The stamp sets are available as a separate purchase, so if you want the stamps, you do have to add them and pay for them separately. It has this really cool um, shape. It's like a frame, a heart with some some scribbles around it. La la la, love you. Love you and love you. Lots of speech bubbles that say love you. I love you to the moon and back with this cool moon and it's really beautiful font combination of like cursive and like a typewriter font. Oh my goodness, sorry guys. I, I thought I turned off my ringer. There we go. Um, I love this stamp. I've been waiting for this stamp for this reason. Look at that, the little potty people with the balloons inter, like kind of intertwined. It's so cute. And then a whole bunch of these love hearts. It says, call me, be mine, kiss me, true love, yes, and XOXO. Also, there's one that says love you. So if you could find a punch that was the right size for these, this would be so much fun. And even if you can't find a punch that's the right size, even just cutting them out would be really fun. Or just kind of like stamping them all in a row as a border and then cutting out the strip of paper. Oh, I've got lots of ideas for these. And I think these are probably gonna make it onto my kids' Valentines this year, which we're gonna be doing this weekend. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take everything out of its cellophane packs before I show it to you so that my camera will focus and not be too um, overexposed or underexposed. And then I'll show you what comes in the kit. Okay, so I have unpackaged all of the items that came in the kit and I'm just going to share the contents with you. So that's just a piece of chipboard that comes to keep everything neat and tidy. I'm going to show the cardstock first this absolutely lovely creamy color of pink it's like a um whoops focus camera is that there oh hang on there so this is a beautiful creamy color of pink it's like i guess you might call it a raspberry color it's really really pretty and it's a um it's a smooth cardstock and then there is a sheet, two sheets, and there's two of each color. So there's two of that raspberry, two of the, this is like a stone gray color. It's very nice neutral. I love stone. It's one of my favorite colors. It's not quite a white and not quite a gray. It's a nice neutral color. And then this really pretty teal color, which does have a texture. It is the, the um, it's kind of like a canvasy texture. So those are the three colors that come with the kit. I'm gonna cover up that cardstock because that's not actually a kit item. So those are the colors. And now I'll share with you guys the 
patterned paper. So this is a sheet of, actually I'll work from the back. So this is a piece of Fancy Pants paper from the Be Loved um, line. That's what the line looks like. And it has all of this, it looks like little cutouts from vintage books. Or maybe from vintage Valentine's cards. Yeah, I guess it's probably vintage Valentine's cards all kind of smushed together onto one sheet. It's really pretty. They're really cute. I really like that one in particular with the boy and the girl on the, on the little window box. And then the other side is a really nice red and pink horizontal, not horizontal, diagonal line. It's really pretty. I like these. You know, it seems like a lot when it, you see it in the 12 by 12, but it makes a really nice mat for something. So once you kind of, you know, cover a lot of it up, it looks quite nice. It looks nice as strips and it looks nice as mats. So this is nice. I'm actually more likely to use this than this paper, but I might use both sides of this one. So there's that. So there's always six pieces of pattern paper and six pieces of three different colors of cardstock. So here's the next piece of paper. It's also from the Fancy Pants Beloved collection and it has all these really cool watercolored hearts in different colors and it's just absolutely gorgeous. I love, love, love this paper. Then the other side is a pink paper with a white chevron on it. It has a bit of distressing around the edges. That's very pretty. The next piece of paper is all of these um, library cards collaged together. It says, haha, I've been checking you out. And February 14th is the due date. And um, I don't know if there's anything else that's kind of relevant. Be mine on February 14th. I don't know what some of the book chapters are, but, um, or what the book names are. They don't seem to be. The Minister's Everyday Life, I guess the, some of them are Valentine's themed and some of them are not. The other side is like this candy cane stripe. It's really pretty in red and white. Then a piece from the, and that was from Crepe Paper, sorry, from the Crepe Paper Love Notes collection. Oh, and I forgot to mention that this red and white diagonal has that look of, of um, old scotch tape on some of the edges. Crepe Paper does that a lot. Another piece of Crepe Paper paper, which I love, 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 love this. Um, this side has all these bands of different colors of teal or mint green and cream. And then this side has these beautiful little banners of cutout hearts with sewing drawn on it. And this would look really cool. What I'm thinking about doing with at least some of this paper is running actual sewing machine lines across it and putting, replacing some of these hearts, like covering them with actual punched out hearts. So I think that would add a lot of dimension to this paper and just make it really, really pretty. In fact, it might make it so pretty that I don't want to cut it up. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, so that's what I have in store for that one. I'm not sure how I would use that paper once I did that to it, but I just think that that would add so much to it and it's pretty already. So I'm gonna have fun trying that out. Ooh, I love this. Um, head Over Heels from Echo Park. And this is all kinds of arrows on the diagonal and they're all kind of tightly fit together. Really, really pretty. I love those colors. There's red and gray and light blue and pink. So that's really pretty. And then the other side is another red with white polka dots. There was one of these in the last kit I got and I used it as a background. It made a really pretty background, so. There's that. So this is the fifth piece of pattern paper. It's another Head Over Heels paper by Echo Park and it has these um, hearts that have different colors on each side. It's a really pretty overall look and then it also looks really pretty up close. And then the same colors as the arrows. Then when you flip it over, it has this like Harlequin type of pattern. I think that's what you call these diamonds. Really pretty. And then the last piece is from the Crepe Paper Love Notes collection, and it is this pink and music paper chevron. It's 
it's really cool. It's a cool idea for a chevron. It's a neat twist. And then the back side is this greenish colored print that looks like that up close. Really pretty. So these are the pattern papers and then these are the back sides. Awesome. This is the letter sticker that comes with this kit. It is the Fancy Pants Pink Large Alpha Stickers, and they do have a bit of distressing on them, like a textured that's printed into them. So there's that. And then I have taken all of the embellishments, most of the embellishments, out of their package. Um, I am pretty sure that these tags right here are from um, Webster's Pages because I recognize the um, envelopes from Webster's Pages and it's just like the same kind of, I just recognize it. So I think that these things are from Webster's Pages, I could be wrong, but there's this really, really pretty yellow and gray. I love yellow and gray diagonal stripes. It's one of my favorite things in the whole wide world. So that's awesome to have, I love, love, love that. Cute, cute, cute little pocket envelope that has little hearts on it. It's really, really pretty and it's tiny. So those are cute and they'll be fun to work with. And then all of these little tags that are like they're, they're kind of, they, they don't sit flat, which is kind of nice. It makes them look more like real tickets. I kind of ripped one of mine apart already. I wanted it to be together, but, um, cause I might use them in a strip like that. If so, I'll just put, run a piece of washi tape along the back of that just to keep it. There we go. So you get a little strip of tickets that are really pretty. I'll just show you what they each look like. And they kind of cascade, which is neat. Like that. So you get those. Then you get three Ormolu flare badges which are really, really pretty. They're always really pretty, but I love them this month. I like the XOXO and I love the little hearts. And this one says, love to love you. So there's what they look like without the glare from my lights. Really pretty. And then you get these three die cuts. One that says XOXO. One that says two of us and one that says true love so that's some of the embellishments and then for wood veneers we get this really cute frame that says love you I love these square wood veneer frames they are really fun to play with and we get these little kind of overlapping hearts in two different sizes, wood veneers. And then, woohoo, these kind of coordinate with the stamp set that look like little love hearts. Love these. Love, love, love these. These would look so nice inked in pretty pastel colors so that they look like love hearts. Really, really cute. Love those, can't wait to play with them. That's gonna be so much fun. Then we, um, then we have this cut apart Ormolu uh, bunch of tags and banners, and these ones are these ones come with a score line down the back side so that you can fold them. It says sweet as candy forever and ever, uh, a circle and a square and an X and an O, and then la la love you. Um, Lots of banners and other little banners. These are just so much fun. They're so handy to have for when you just need a little something. These are perfect. Then we got a whole package of Be Loved Ephemera. So this is the Fancy Pants Ephemera pack. It came in a package that looked like this, which by the way, that is nice. And I'm gonna use that too. So, um, so I'm gonna hang on to that. And these pieces, well, all of them are shown right here. So those are all of the pieces that you get. But I'll just show you some of the highlights because I don't want this video to be too insanely long. But there's 
like a whole bunch of little ones. Whoops. So there's a handful of them. And they've got like a nice, not sure that you're gonna be able to see the texture of them, but they've got a texture like textured cardstock. See that, I think you can see it in the gray part of the print there. That's actually not print, that's the feeling, that's the texture of these. They feel very unique. They feel different than any other ephemera I've ever received. But I've never tried the Fancy Pants ephemera before. So that's a really cute piece. It says, I love you. And they all have that same texture to them. They're really nice. That's just got like a really nice quality. It feels nice. Hello, my name is... Love to love you, baby. Sugar lips. Oh, these are just like perfect. I love, love, love these. A little be mine, a cute, adorable little bird with the heart. Be mine and won't you be mine and just a whole bunch of XOXO. Oh, I love, 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 love these. <laughs> Let's be clear, I love them. <laughs> So then we get the, a package, a whole package of these Maggie, no, they're not Maggie Holmes, the Love Notes 25 photo overlays. So there's 25 pieces of transparency in this package. Some of them are the frames that we're used to getting and some of them are other shapes and stuff. So I'm gonna show you these. Not every single one, but I'm just gonna show you lots of them. It's a little bit hard to show transparencies because the lights tend to glare on them. But you do get a couple of, well, a bunch actually, of the frames that we're used to getting. And some of them are shaped, so these would be overlays for putting on top of your photos to make them look like they have an Instagram or this one has bokeh on it. See the bokeh? It's really pretty, heart-shaped bokeh on the top corner and the bottom corner. So that's really cute to put on a photo um, if you haven't done it, ran it through Instagram. And uh, a Polaroid frame. And then this one is a heart-shaped frame. Some more frames here. This one is kind of just vintage on the edges. And this one is a Polaroid that, oh, that's, that's pretty. It's got like a chevron and it also has like the vignetting around the edges. So that's really pretty. And then in addition to all those frames, well, there's some more frames here, some tiny ones. This one has that little banner of hearts that I liked on that paper, and it's also a pink frame. And this one is just the frame with the vignetting, the yellow vignetting around the edges. And a giant heart. And then a whole bunch of little pieces, including, look at this, it's so cute. This little jar with hearts in it. It's so, so cute. I love, 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 love that. That's awesome. And a little doily. These are fun. I really like these. You know what, you guys? I try to not look at the kits before I, before it comes. Like, I try to just be surprised, even though I looked at it enough to pick it out. Um, and that way, when I, when I get it, it's like a big surprise. I kind of forget what it was that came in it, and I just love opening my kits for that reason. So the little freebie that we get this this month if we bought last month's kit is a um, bottle of this Distress Paint in Picked Raspberry. And obviously I haven't been paying enough attention to what Tim Holtz has been doing lately because the, all the colors of everything that I'm seeing in the Tim Holtz Distress stuff is really, really cool. I love the colors these days. So um, I know that he came up with some more vibrant colors, but I didn't pay a whole lot of attention because I felt like I already had some vibrant colors from other products. But wow, that's really nice paint. And um, I'm going to have fun with this because it comes with a dauber applicator. So that will be fun to play with. So now I'm going to show you the add-on. So now I'm going to show you guys the add-on for the Feel Again kit. 
and uh, it, the add-on comes with lots of extra embellishments, usually an extra set of alphabets and some stickers, and also two pieces of cardstock and four pieces of paper. So again, it kind of comes with a piece of chipboard to keep it all nice. And the two pieces of cardstock in the add-on is one color black and one color red. Really pretty, very Valentine's-y. So I'll put those like that right there. And I'll show you the other things that come in this kit. So the four pieces of paper are this piece of crepe paper love notes with the bands on the back side like one of the other papers. And then this is kind of like confetti or bokeh. I guess depends what you consider it. Um, with the hearts. I guess it looks a bit more like bokeh because it's got some circles behind it and they're overlapping and they look pretty and dreamy. So that's really pretty. Love that color scheme. And then there is this piece of, oh, I love this, um, with the paper planes that say, hi, I love you, and XOXO. They're really cute. And there's little trails that go in hearts. <laughs> it's really cute. And then the other side is this really pretty blue floral brocade or whatever you call that kind of a print. It looks like wallpaper a little bit. So that's really pretty. That's from Echo Park, the Head Over Heels collection. And another piece from that uh, collection, same Head Over Heels, is, oh look, it's a bicycle mint built for two. That's really cute, with all the hearts in between it. That's really pretty. It looks a little overwhelming in big amounts, but in a small amount it would be great. And then this kind of gradual ombre effect from white to gray, or from light gray to dark gray. Really pretty. That's, it's always nice to have a nice neutral like that. Like that will come in handy. And then typewriters that say, love you more, I just love you. Love you more, I just love you. That's it, just love you, those two phrases. And they're really cute. The back side is black with XOXO all over it. Looks like a chalkboard a little bit. So there's that. And then this awesome sheet of stickers from Head Over Heels from Echo Park. And look at all the fun shapes and stickers on this sheet. And it's a nice matte, like a lot of the Echo Park stickers are not too shiny. And with your love I'm free and I love you to the moon. You make me happy. Awesome, those are so much fun. Then the letter stickers that we get are thickers. I love thickers, I can't get enough thickers. Love note. Really, oh, look at that. <laughs> There's two different colors. Oh my goodness, it doesn't take much to impress me, does it? <laughs> There's these really bright pink ones, and look, they come with hearts as the extra shape. And then when you turn them over, they're yellow or like a creamy buttery color. It's really, oh my goodness. That's awesome. That's really nice. I love having identical letters in, this, in different colors because then you can make a certain word stand out by making it be a different color and whatnot. We get these, my mind's eye, Cupid's arrow, enamel shapes from the Cupid's Arrow collection. It has arrows and different sizes of hearts in enamel dot format. Then we get these rub-ons, which I haven't taken out of their package because I don't know why yet, but they're really pretty. They've got this handwritten, they're from Studio Calico. It's handwritten words like life, silly, etc., always love, hello, and XOXO, and they're white, so they're gonna be pretty on different surfaces. Then we get a package of Fancy Pants Be Loved photo frames and these look like they're the same. These look like they are the same. They are. Consistency is that ephemera pack that I said I really liked the feel of them. So that's what they look like on the back of the package and this is what they look up like. Oh my goodness these are so cute. Oh I love these. Up on cloud nine, I didn't realize I'd like these this much, but I really do. Up on cloud nine, I'll show you a couple of them. 
This one is one of my favorites. Look at all the diagonal lines and stripes. I love stripes. I think you are awesome. Fancy pants for making these things. Love you to the moon and back with arrows. Awesome, awesome. I like the two different colored. It reminds me of the old fashioned slides from Kodachrome or whatever, the comfort Kodak. So those are totally cool. I'm gonna, they're cool enough to warrant my cranberry or whatever this, this is dep depression glass, it's not cranberry. Um, my depression glass dish. That's how much I love those. <laughs> Pulling out the cranberry dish. It's not cranberry. Pulling out the depression glass. So these are some L Studio die cuts and I can't wait to see them, they're really pretty. Um, I haven't used anything from L Studio for a little while. It's from the Love You More collection and it's 31 die cuts and they're called Bits and Pieces and this is what they look like. And so again I can't show you all of them but I'll show you a bunch. So there's a 4x6 card here. There's a frame, picture perfect, a three by four card. I love that they're putting these in these kits because you used to be able to buy these separate. And another one of those three by four cards. What else is in here? Another little, um, another little frame, but it also has like a little square shape inside so you could use them for two different things we've got here. Another one of those frames that you can use the inside shape from. Lots of little dude. This is like everything they make all put together in one package. I've been a little bit out of touch with L Studio. It's Ellie Studio, I know. I always forget that. Um, these little things that kind of clip on to papers. It's kind of like a paper, paper clip. Lots of speech bubbles, always and forever. I really, really love these. I'm totally excited about these. So these are gonna be fun. I'm sorry I didn't show them in all that great of a detail, but I wanna just keep this moving. Actually, I think that's it. That's it. So these also warrant the depression glass dish. So there you go. These are all my favorite things. Um, so that's the add-on. I'm gonna bring back the kit. There you go. That is what is included. I'm just gonna move my camera a little bit so you can see it all. That is all that is included with the Scraptastic Feel Again kit, main kit and add-on. So thanks so much for watching everybody. I'm going to have so much fun. I wish I could start scrapbooking right now, but I can't, but maybe tomorrow. So take care.